Good morning. Good morning. Day 125 today. And Robin just dropped us off here to the trail and we're starting again. We yes. are heading to Syed, right? Yes. It's 724 in the About morning. Two and a half days probably. Two and a half there. days. Some people do it in less. We're doing it in two and a half days. <laughs> and there's not much there other than a general store and a cafe and a post office. That's about it. So we just resupplying yeah. and keep going. An RV park where you can. Oh, okay. yeah. We haven't decided. Twenty dollars, you can stay there. We haven't decided if we're gonna stay or not, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll probably stay. We'll see. But we are ready and definitely had a great time in Edna. We liked the town. We rested. Um, it went by too fast. We're feeling good. You're doing okay, honey? Yeah, doing great. Yeah, I'm doing okay too. My back is good. Uh, but um, like everything, when we start the first day, um, you know, we expect it's going to be hard, but we're just going to walk as many miles yeah. as we can today. It's not even quite 7.30. We yeah. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. We'll see you down on the trail. Sixteen hundred miles. We have the sixteen hundred mile mark. One thousand fifty to go. <laughs> yeah, exciting. Okay, just another another mark. We still have more, more, a lot more to go, but doing great. This is what we've seen. It's beautiful. The weather right now is beautiful. Nice and fresh. This time of the day. But um, the temperatures this week are going to be in the hundreds. Very, very hot. Uh, we have been warned about a very hot wave coming up. So... Um, the good thing is that we, there is still water around here and I think we are we're not on the valley, so it's not going to be that hot, but when we get to Syed, I'm sure we're going to be very, very hot. And right now, it's fresh, it's crispy, and we're looking for a site to have breakfast. This is the view from this side of the mountain and we're getting into a burn area pretty soon. flowers we're seeing. Different yellows. And we are seeing a lot of these trees down in the midst of a burned area.
his life. 12.38. And we have found a shady spot, very small, in the midst of nothing but uh, blowdowns and burns and rock. rock and desert. And my husband mm. is very happy because he has his... Brian RC cool I had left over in the room. It's I'm not from Mississippi and but it's a southern thing and you gotta have my RC cool here. And there's someone coming. That's who that who that is. Is that money? Money on the trail. Money on the trail. Hi, we found you. <laughs> Say hello to my channel. Hey channel. Hey <laughs> dear folks. Are you uh do you wanna have lunch with us? Sure. Okay, have a seat. Place in the dirt. So we're running into some horses. People that are doing the PCT on horses. Been hearing about this. And uh, it's interesting because they have a challenge, which is all these logs. We're hearing about them. I heard that uh, they are from Germany, I believe, in Manila, something like that. And they just put him there renting these horses. So we just went over that log and they have to go all around it. So cool. Hi. Hi, how are you? You're the first time I've seen this curve. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. It's very comfortable. Yeah, so I heard that, uh, I think it's, um, hi, are you with them now? Yes. Oh, good. I've got two less luggage, otherwise. I heard that they are from Europe, they rent the, the horses, and uh, when they get to places they can't um, go with the horses, they just have someone on the road. Um, just putting them in a horse, car I don't know what you call that, where you put the horses and they just drive them up the road until they get another place where they can um, come back into the trail. So there's uh, very interesting stories, I'm sure. went from Mexico all the way to Alaska. Wow, and when uh, was that? Oh, we started 2007. Oh, okay. And, and it took seven years. Seven years. And, and you're from Germany, right? I'm from Germany and Sonia is from Austria. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And these are your horses? Yeah. And you... They're Mustangs. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Well, you guys enjoy. I'm you jealous. I love horses. I wish I could be doing the same thing. I know it's gotta be hard. Yeah, sometimes. Because they need water and they need grass. Yeah. Well, Where are you going to camp tonight? Uh, about another five or six miles up the trail somewhere. Not yeah, exactly we're sure. Looking forward. We just have what, two miles, four yeah, miles. Yeah, no, not even. Pretty, I think pretty Shelly, close. Shelly Meadows there. Oh, okay. Okay. That's where we are going to find grass and I hope we find water. That's the place where we go. Okay. Well, we'll see you there, I'm sure. Thank you. 
Yes. at our campsite tonight we did 15.4 miles today not bad for starting at 7 30 yeah and we took a kind of a nap because it's been super hot right honey what what did you get what alarm what did you get what kind of a advisory So what we're doing is we're basically um, staying in the shade in the, the very, very hot hours of the day and then hiking more like uh, this time evening. So that's why we got here so late. I'm cooking my pasta and we're cowboy camping. It's nice and cool but not cold. And uh, there's no mosquitoes, so hopefully we'll have a good night tonight. Uh, Manny is staying with us up there, his tent, and we have somebody else staying over here with us tonight. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful evening. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning. Day 126. Have a beautiful sunset and uh, sunrise. sunrise. I'm sorry, sunrise. It's 6 15 and we're starting hiking again. The idea is to hike as many miles as we can today, hopefully 18. The terrain is really rough over here with lots of rocks. Not too steep, not too deep, not too steep down or up, but a lot of rocks. So, um, yeah, we'll see. See you down First obstacle of the day. We have to do a lot of this. And we have to decide whether we go under, over, or around. It's not very easy. This is a very thick one. I would imagine the horses would be going up here and around the log. Horses are coming back. They're just uh, camped about four miles back. Just talking to Is about when we should stop to launch. It's 11 o'clock right now, and I think we need to. We usually stop at 12, but I think we're going to push a little bit longer so that we can have a little bit of a fresher, not as hot time to be hiking and uh, take a longer launch break because the heat is uh, intense. And we don't want to be suffering from um, heat exhaustion.
just a cabin, a forest cabin. Perfect. It's locked up. I can go in there and it doesn't look like it's in very good shape. <laughs> okay, we keep hiking. It's really getting very, very hot. It's 11.45 and we're trying to stretch ourselves a little bit more. Do a couple more, more miles uh, before it gets really, really hot. But it is getting really hot. I wonder what Is is doing. That's not the path where you're going, Is. Looking for something. Here's the path. He said he will go on to the next water source. I'm sure he wants to find out what's going on over there. It's 9.08 and we had to take our lamps, headlamps out because it's getting darker and we're not at our campsite yet and we have a lot of blowdowns and it's just very dark but we should be there in about 0.5 Good morning, day 127 We are ready to start um, hiking We woke up very early um, It was not the best night we slept at a uh, road junction, uh, even though it was flat, it was... We were at a slant, weren't we? Yeah, it was a slant and very, very rocky. Very rocky, and we got... Last night we got to our campsite very, very late. It was like 9.30, and that was because we did how many miles, maybe? 22, I think it was 22.3. Twenty-two point three miles, and uh, it was a long day. It was definitely a long day. So today we're getting into Sayad in about thirteen point two. There's a road that might we might have. Uh, we can hitch. Otherwise, it's going to be how many miles? Like seventeen. Like five miles. Five miles more, like eighteen. So. We'll see. We'll see what happens today, but it's going to be a long day too. Hot day, but... 15.2? Um, 15 15 15 yes, 13.2, but if we don't get a ride, it will be longer, right? Yeah. It will be another... It will be 18.3. 18.3 if we don't get a ride. Um, so, we're praying we get a ride. <laughs> Um, it's beautiful around here. It's fresh right now. It's not hot and it's not cold. We're not wearing jackets. We're not wearing shirts. We're not wearing any, you know, additional clothing other than our hot summer clothes. So, yeah, it's going to be a hot day again. Um, the weather forecast keeps giving us warnings that uh, it's a very hot week this week. Um, so we need to really take care of um, getting some hydration constantly and getting to rivers and wetting our heads and cooling down because it's uh, pretty hot. It's uh, 106 down at the valley, 100. Between 106 and 110, I heard. And uh, so up here, it's got to be in the high 80s, 90s, and uh, pretty hot to be hiking. But, um, well, we have to keep going, and we're doing okay. Uh, our bodies are okay. We're still having fun and seeing beautiful views. And we're almost to Oregon, so that's exciting. Good morning. You look very friendly. What's up? You looking for food? Why well, you have a good day? Playing with friendly deer. Bye. I've been counting the 
to the trees that are down and I've done 25 so far. We have arrived to a campground where we're going to be having lunch and pretty soon we'll be getting to our destination today in about maybe another mile and a half or so and then into Sayad. So, oh, this is so hot. Hopefully we'll get a ride soon. Five fifty-three, and we have had some trail magic yeah, back there. Great, great trail magic. Great trail magic with this uh, couple that they're just such a nice around. couple. They know that it's very hot around here, and they just brought drinks and food for hikers. Um, we got a ride into. Sayad and got uh, resupplied, got our food, and we got uh, right back into the trail. So now we are just looking for a um, campsite, not too far because it's getting late. Um, but yeah, we had a great time with um, Randy and yeah. Diet. Uh, the, the people who did the trail magic so thank you very much to them and now we keep hiking see you later 729 we should be finding something around here if not we have to do another 2.5 miles it's 8 o'clock and we actually made it to our our side and um, yeah, it was the first site that we were thinking about staying, so we didn't have to do the extra 2.5 miles. Thank God, because I'm exhausted and I'm cooking. And Iz is making our bed because we're gonna do cowboy camping today. It's beautiful. Um, there's mosquitoes definitely, so I don't know. Hopefully, they'll go to sleep. <laughs> I really don't feel like putting up the tent. We'll see. I hope it's not a bad idea. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's day 128. And we've been hiking for about an hour. Woke up early. And we're at the top of this mountain. It's uh, beautiful. The view is still beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous but you see the devastation of all the dead trees and the burnt area uh, so sad but we're still enjoying our hike we're seeing beautiful sights it's gonna be very very hot again today the sun is out already and uh, pretty soon we'll be in Oregon we don't have uh, too much to go before we reach Oregon, so we're happy. 
This is beautiful. This is he said it. Honey, what did you say? This is what it what it should look like. Yeah, the dark the forest. This is what the forest here should look like. Green, 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 green everywhere. This is beautiful. This is a refreshment to see that there's green and not burned areas. This is beautiful, feels beautiful, looks beautiful, smells beautiful. And now we keep hiking. It's uh, getting hotter. Although, thank God, there's some clouds and some breeze. We're feeling it, so we know God is protecting us, giving us what we need. Praising for that. Getting closer and closer to Oregon border. It's three o'clock and we are at the hottest part of the day, I think. It's, what's the temperature, honey? Like a hundred degrees? Oh no, here it's probably in the eighties. Oh, <laughs> it feels like a hundred. Yeah. Feels like a hundred, but I want to show you guys that this mountain because then we're going to get into some trees and I'm not going to be able to show them, show you guys everything. We're getting very close to Oregon! I'm so happy. Let me show you. So those mountains ahead, definitely going to Oregon. So this is California. We're doing about another seven miles, honey, would you say? Seven miles in California and then we get to Oregon. Seven and a half miles anyway. Then we are in Oregon. So excited. But it's really, really hot. People are getting into the rivers and getting wet and drinking water. And, ah, this is a challenge walking out here this heat. But we're doing get great. Uh, we're getting into some shade really soon. So that will cool us down a little bit. There's a little bit of a breeze up here, so it's nice. Look at that beauty. That is beautiful. America, you are just gorgeous. Honey, hmm? I'm recording. Still recording. This is beautiful. And we have trees that are alive and green. And we can walk on much smoother surface. So this helps a lot. We're going down now for a little bit and then we go up again. But Happy that all these trees are alive. We're rushing into Oregon. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Oregon, we're almost there. California saying goodbye to us. Very close to the border.
609. We have reached the border to Oregon. We here, we here, we here. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Lord. We made it. Bye bye, California. Step into Oregon. Hello, Oregon. Yippee. Thank you, Lord. California. Oregon. We are in Oregon. We are in Oregon now. Espanol también. Ah, uh, Espanol uh, también. Uh, two you subscribers. We found the two subscribers. You, know, live, 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 you live in Belize, right? Yes. And you're from Colombia originally. Yeah, Correct. We've been following you around. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Tell us your name again. My name is Mr. Tequila. We're from Houston, Texas. Awesome. And you? From Houston. From Houston. Originally from Mexico. From Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Mexico. Que viva Mexico. Mexico lindo. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. So you're hiking? Yeah. That's a great. Well, we did from Mexico to Kennedy Meadows and then she got injured. Oh, yeah. And we just jumped on trail again to go to Canada in Saeed Valley. Awesome. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it is awesome to find you guys here. We just yeah, got to Oregon and look we what we got. We left Houston and came to Houston. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> 105 and... Uh, yeah. And now this is Mosquito Land here. They, they, they aren't landing on us, but they're... Yeah. They are all over, right? Yeah, they're... This is beautiful. This is where we're going to camp. This is, oh, yeah, her this is Oregon. Is we just got to Latina, Oregon. That Latina blood yeah. attracts the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were looking at that spot where your pack is, but there's yeah. really good spots right here. Yes, too. yeah. Everywhere is good here. Everywhere, I'm telling him that, yes. Seven, 7.45. And we found a nice spot. Decided to put the tent up because it's very buggy here. Um, today, Is is trying something different. He is blowing the mattress inside the tent. Because it's always hard to put it in once it's been inflated but it doesn't seem like it's that easy how do you like that baby yeah. is it easier to do it inside the tent or outside oh, I don't know probably outside probably outside better yeah. but you always need my help to put it in because you have to bring in the pole open the it's just like he needs four hands to put it in. Um, we are filthy, 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 disgusting. Look at those feet, my husband. Let me see your feet. They're dirty. Let me see them. <laughs> I think we're ready for a shower. We are definitely ready for a shower. I got my shoes. I haven't taken them in off yet because I always leave this for the very last minute so I can I don't have to put in my other shoes but uh, let's see how dirty my feet are today we did 18.3 miles today and it's our first night in Oregon we are so happy to be in Oregon and not in California. <sighs> Look, my legs. And I already washed my legs in one of the rivers. I look at oh, Not too bad, I've seen worse. But yeah, that's our story. For today, we are very happy to be in Oregon. And we're looking forward to new sites, new things. Everything looks very green. Okay, good night. Good morning. Day 129. We're in Oregon. Good morning, Oregon. We're so happy. Aren't you happy, baby? Yes. You're in Oregon. Mm. I had a terrible night, although 
I didn't sleep very well. I don't know why. It was nothing particular. Maybe it was too hot. I don't know. Which I just couldn't get comfortable. Definitely getting hotter and hotter at nights too. So we have that quilt that's 20 degree. Um, so I don't know. How, how was your night? Oh, it was okay. I slept pretty good. Uh, that's good. One out of two. We're in kind of a, a slant, so I had to keep pulling myself up towards the top. <laughs> Other than yeah. that, fine. Okay. So it's um, 6.30 and we're starting our hike today. We are a day and a half from Callahan, which is where we have a Callahan's Lodge, yeah. Callahan's Lodge, where we have a um, hotel reservation. We're trying to make as many miles today as possible, so tomorrow don't have too many. We'll yeah, see. We're thinking 16 today and 10 tomorrow. If I can make it. I'm so tired. We'll be there in time for lunch. Yep. Okay. So, here we go. See you down the trail. Good morning, Oregon. This is so pretty. We still have a little bit of an up to do up here. But since this morning, it's been nothing but an up. Going up, going up going up. Not as steep as the Sierras, definitely. But, you know, still keeps us exercising. <laughs> this is, this is tough. I'm not saying it's tough as the Sierras, but still it's tough. A lot of up. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. Green everywhere. Beautiful. We just had um, breakfast. We met with our friends who are subscribers to. Mr. Tequila and Susie Q. And uh, we also made a um, gift horse from Canada. So we had a nice breakfast. We socialized a little bit. And now we are seeing this beautiful side. So different. Everything is just like so manicured. I, I said it. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. The day is starting to warm up, not too much at this point, but there's a nice breeze and we're hoping we have shade because the, the temperatures are rising. Every day is, is hotter and hotter. Right, honey? What was the, the forecast like? 109 for the next two days in Ashland. 109 in Ashland. Oof. So, yeah, we definitely have to take care and hydrate and keep cool but this is beautiful we're very happy we're in Oregon this is amazing Up in front of us is um, Dan and what is his name again? Hamburger Burglar? Hamburglar. 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 McDonald's character. Yes. Been having a conversation with him. Very nice. Very nice young man. Studying to be an accountant. And he is really killing the miles. He started in May. 
Imagine, he's already here. I don't remember what date he said he started, but he says he's doing 30 and 40 miles a day. So yeah, some people are really fast. We we have this lady um, that we told you about, um, gift course. She gets up at two o'clock in the morning to hike until about three because it's too hot for her. She says it's way too hot for her to be walking during the day. So, but she's still doing a lot of those miles in the heat. So um, it works for her. Like my husband says, um, you hike your own hike. That would not work for me. I need my sleep. made it to 1700 mile mark wow 1700 1700 and starting at 1700 nice it's extremely hard it's like 1215 i mean 1115 and it's extremely hot. I don't know how people do this. I don't know how I'm doing it. But I got my umbrella and it, there is a little bit of breeze here and there. So we just need to get to some water and get some lunch and rest for a while. Look at this. Someone came all the way here and left this water here for someone who needs it. That's very nice. It's going to be a trail angel. Very much. So thank you, thank you. We just had a stop at a very nice and cool water spring, so we're okay. And uh, we're getting closer to her campsite. We're not doing too many miles today because this is this temperature is brutal. And we are very, very hot. It's starting to cool down now because it's about four. Is it four o'clock, honey? Five. Oh, it's five now. Yeah, we've been walking and I haven't even been noticing what time it is. So I think within about an hour we should be at our campsite. That is, this is just so beautiful. There is a cloud right now in front of the sun. So right now it feels cool. <laughs> nice. 5.30 and we have found out Trail magic for PCT, long distance hikers. Mm. Nice. Sodas. They're not even cold. No. They're not cold? They're not cold. That's okay. Thank you. Not a girl sign. Thank you very much. Good evening. We have arrived to a campsite tonight, a little bit earlier than we had planned. Why, honey? Why did you pick this campsite? Uh, oh, well, I picked it because we're still at a fairly good elevation here. We haven't started down yet. Should be cooler. 
we're at the very top. It's all down from here. That's right. So tomorrow we'll have like 10.4 mm -hmm. to get into Callahan Lodge. Right. So today wasn't a very long day. We got here like at 5.30. We even had um, friends come in and join us and we have a little chat. We're just behind the coolers that we were having um, some sodas from. We found out that there was a campsite right behind it, so we decided to stay. We were going to push one more mile, but we decided to stay because it's nice and cool and we should have a better, yeah. better night. As we have a beautiful view. And we did how many miles? I told you, I don't recall now. 15.4 <laughs> oh, okay. miles. We did not a lot, but in the heat, that we are having these days, it's a lot. People are not doing too many miles because it's just, it slows you down when it's this hot. So looking forward to tomorrow, getting into town and to a nice hotel and having some food and shower and bed. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Today is day 130 and it's uh, six o'clock. We woke up. Uh, pretty early today and we're leaving this side which was not the best side ever. I had lots of mosquitoes last night because we didn't um, put out the tent. We didn't think it was necessary but it, it sh we should have done it. Um, it's also been very hot at night and the quilt that we have um, which is 30 degree it's too hot for this. I'm sorry, 20 degree. It's too hot for this time of the year. So we can't do anything about it. Um, we've been thinking about maybe switching to something else, but we don't know. We haven't decided what to do. Meanwhile, we just have to put up with that situation and uh, just take it. Um, Terry says that um, next week is going to be cooler, so we might want to just keep it. So we'll see. Um, so today is the day that we get into um, this um, resort, Callaghan Resort, and uh, I'm excited. We only have 10 miles to, to do today, and hopefully we should be there by, by lunch if the descent is not too bad. It's just going down, down, down the whole time. Okay, we'll see you guys down the trail. It's uh, 10.30, almost 11, I don't know, somewhere around there. And we're getting closer to Callahan Lodge. It's pretty. This trail needs some maintenance, for sure. We're about 0.5 away from Allahan's Lodge and this is like Indiana Jones <laughs> Wow, oh, look at these flowers, they're beautiful arrived at Callahan's restaurant and lodge.
So the plan is that we're gonna stay here one night because Callahan's is just a, a resort, a lodge, not a city, and we can't resupply here. So the idea is that we're gonna stay here at night and tomorrow we'll find a way to get it into Ashland to resupply Ashland or yeah I think it was Ashland that Terry said but for right now I am so happy we're here it's extremely hot right now and I'm ready for a shower food bed uh, whatever this place can offer us very pretty Hi, 